Hey man, spring's around the corner. So now it's appropriate to talk about these 2024 run goals and how I plan on crushing this year. channel i talk all things running fitness and personal development you just heard about the topic at hand so let's go ahead and get to it so we're gonna kick it off talking about my 2024 mileage goal of 1500 miles this year so my current high is 1345 miles which i completed during the COVID year 2020 just so happened to be training for the chicago marathon of that year which of course we already know ultimately did not happen but I still stay with my training and I end up completing that 26.2 mile distance in November. And all of that marathon training led to that 1,344 miles, which I plan on conquering this year. So this 1,500 mile goal is gonna be a 39% jump from what I did last year when I completed 1,080 miles. Now, if we breaking this down monthly, we are looking at me hitting about 125 miles a month, which honestly at this point in my life is actually pretty doable. Now, I am planning on running another marathon in late October, which we'll get into later on in this video. But I'm confident in that three-month training period and a significant amount of miles to the total I'm looking to hit this year. Overall, I want to build the biggest aerobic base that I can leading into my marathon training. I've got an aggressive goal that we'll talk about later, but I want to make sure that I'm giving myself the best chance of meeting that goal and that's staying consistent in my training, staying consistent in my recovery, and then keeping my fingers crossed that don't nothing else happen that I messed that up. So we'll see. All right, so let's look at these 2024 races now. First race on the schedule is the Shamrock Shuffle on March 24th. This is in Chicago, Illinois. It's an 8K race, and my primary goal is just to see what type of shape I'm in. This isn't gonna be a race where I'm running celebration pace. I'm actually gonna run this kind of hard because I do wanna get some data because my upcoming race, which we'll talk about next, is a half marathon. So I wanna see what type of paces I should be training at. So I'm gonna see what type of shape I'm in by the effort I put in this race. Now, I already alluded to the fact that I'm running a half marathon after the Shamrock 8K. Now, whether that is the Chicago Spring Half Marathon on May 19th, or the Chicago 13.1 on June 9th. I don't really know yet. We gotta see what life is throwing at me at that time and then I'll make my decision from there. But ultimately, the plan is to run a PR, a sub 100 minute half marathon. That's an hour and 40 minutes for those that don't wanna do that math. My current PR is sitting at an uh, hour and 42 minutes, which I ran way back in 2019 in Indy, I believe. So I got my work cut out for me. It's been a while since I've run a fast half marathon like that, but I'm gonna give myself a chance to do this. So the next race on the schedule will be a 5K. That is to be determined right now. Kind of the same situation with my half marathons where I don't really know which race, which race I wanna run yet, but depending on which half marathon I run, it's kind of gonna determine that as well too, because it's gonna tell me the type of time that I have to train for this race. The ultimate goal, another sub 25K. So this is an aggressive goal. I have to be smart about this because right after my 5K, I'm gonna be training for my marathon. So I wanna make sure that I am bringing a lot of mileage to my marathon and bring a lot of speed. But I also wanna be smart because where the marathon training is all about volume, 5K training is all about intensity. So. This is the part of my training for the year where I probably have the most chance of getting hurt. So depending on what that 8K looks like at Sharon Rock, depending on what that half marathon looks like and how I'm feeling after that, I have a good idea of what type of shape I'm in if I'm able to actually run that sub 20. And I'm going to be smart about it. If I know I'm in shape to possibly push the envelope to run the sub 20, I'm going to do it. But if I'm not, I'm going to be realistic about it. I'm still going to train to run fast, but I'm not going to push the envelope because I have an aggressive goal for my marathon already as well, too. And ultimately, I want to make sure I'm hitting that goal. 
Now, I've alluded to it a bunch of times already, but the final race that I'll be running for 2024 will be the Detroit Free Press Marathon on October 20th of this year. Now, I did get into the Chicago Marathon this year due to the fact that there was a record number of applicants after Safan Hassan and Kelvin Kipton tore up the city last year. And while I'm on that note, I do want to give a moment of silence for the young prodigy Kelvin Kipton that we lost tragically last month. And so since I couldn't get into Chicago, Detroit was the next city up. And honestly, I've heard a lot of good things about this marathon. It's something that I've already earmarked that I wanted to do anyways. Just so happens 2024 is going to be that year now. So I'll be taking my talents over to Detroit, but Chicago will still be on my mind. What I mean by that is the fact that I have not run a world major marathon yet. And when I do run that first world major marathon, I want it to be in Chicago. So I did a little snooping around. And I found out to automatically time qualify for Chicago. You have to run a three hour, 20 minute marathon. So y'all know my target for Detroit. Sub three hours to 20 minutes. Let's get it. Now that's a whole 20 minute improvement from the three hour, 40 minute marathon I ran last year. Call me crazy, I still think it's doable. Now for context, while nothing is ever guaranteed for you in a marathon, I'll start there. I've only run two marathons, one of them being an official marathon, so I still have plenty of room for improvement. Now I'm also confident in this 320 being doable because in comparison to my training last year, by the time I got up to my marathon training block, I put a very minimal amount of miles on my legs. I don't even think I got to 300 miles of training before I approached my marathon training block. Now, if I stick to the script this year, if I'm able to stay on pace of reaching my 1500 miles by the end of the year, I will have put close to a thousand miles on my legs before I get to marathon training. So think about that. Close to a thousand miles of aerobic base training. Uh, races that I'll run, including the 5K, which I, we already talked about, will be a great speed foundation right before the marathon training. I'm very confident that on top of the volume that I put in in my marathon training block, I'll be in the shape needed to hit that 320 mark. All right, that's my running goals for 2024. So obviously you can see that this is a pretty strategic year for me. I've set a mileage goal to PR at 1500 miles for the year. And yes, I'm only running four races, but I'm training for PRs in three of those races. Now, if you've been following me, you obviously know I love running, but I'm a pretty competitive runner as well too. And it's not that I'm competing against others, but I'm constantly competing against myself and pushing the envelope to see what I can do when I'm out there racing. Now, I bring all that up because, yes, we talking about my 2024 goals, but 2024's goals is going to lay the foundation for the 2,000 miles that I want to run in 2025 and possibly qualify for the Boston Marathon, which will lay the foundation for the 2,750 miles that I run in 2026 and qualify me for New York or London or Tokyo or somewhere international like that. Yes, you want to stay present and we take it day by day, but I understand that each day that I take is the foundation that I'm laying for the long-term goals that I have for myself as well too. So 2024 was a big year to be a big year in this year, but I'm also looking for 24 to be a big year and a foundational year for the big goals that I have as well. Man, but I'm curious to hear about y'all 2024 running goals. Whether that's races, whether that's mileage, whether that's whatever it is, I want you to put it down in the comments. I'm curious to read that. And while you there, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you send this off to a couple of your running buddies that you know like running content. All right, so let's have fun. Let's stay injury free. Let's get to these goals in 2024. I'm Ron JLC signing off. Peace.